The James Webb Space Telescope is a large, infrared-optimized space telescope launched in 2021 by NASA, the European and the Canadian Space Agency. Aside from being the largest, it is also the most powerful space telescope ever built. It can observe some of the earliest galaxies to form in the cosmos and study the formation of stars and planets. Since its launch, it has proven to be the best space scientific observatory in the world. While the JWST is not explicitly designed to study a particular planet, it has just captured the most precise image of Pluto ever. This was made possible by the telescope's infrared capabilities, which allow it to see through the haze in Pluto's atmosphere. According to NASA, these images reveal new details about the dwarf planet's surface. Clyde Tombaugh, an observation assistant at the Lowell Observatory in the United States, discovered this secret planet on February 18, 1930. On the other hand, Percival Lowell, a well-known astronomer, felt that this planet, then known as Planet X, disrupted the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. The American Astronomical Society, the Royal Astronomical Society of the United Kingdom, and the International Astronomical Union accepted Tombaugh's discovery and formally added the object to the list of planets, giving it the name Pluto. Pluto was formerly our solar system's most distant planet. The International Astronomical Union downgraded Pluto's planetary status to dwarf planet in 2019 because it did not meet the three criteria for being called a full-sized planet. It is in orbit around the Sun, has sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium and a near round shape, and has cleared the neighborhood around the orbit. Dwarf planets are tiny planets that do not fit within all three of the planet's classifications. They are circular in form and circle the Sun, but they do not clear their orbital route. In the not-too-distant past, the image of the frozen countryside was simply a glimmer. Nevertheless, since NASA's New Horizons probe flew by Pluto in 2015, we've better understood the ice planet. NASA has recently posted some quite stunning photographs of Pluto on its Instagram account, which show the small celestial object in various colors of the rainbow. These images have been liked by hundreds of people and have sparked interest in Pluto. Pluto seems awash in vibrant colors in these images, which is unusual for a space planet. The colors you see are not those of this astronomical object. Instead, the space probe inserted them to illustrate the tiny distinctions between the planet's many areas. The NASA article outlines the area's dramatic features. Pluto's surface is complex and diverse, with jumbled mountains reminiscent of Europa, networks of carved-out valleys, ancient, deeply cratered topography resting right next to fresh, smooth frozen plains, and maybe wind-blown dunes. The image acquired at 22,025 miles from Pluto also reveals the planet's heart, a massive glacier consisting of nitrogen and methane. Pluto's surface is covered in ice composed of water, methane, and nitrogen. It is thought to contain a rocky core and a deep ocean. According to NASA, the surface is fractured and cratered with white, tan, and brownish-red colors. Although the white and tan descend to meet the brown-red surface at the top of the snap, a partly discernible heart may be seen in white. The space agency tweeted the image of Pluto captioning it, Small Planetary Body Saturday, taken by our New Horizons spacecraft at the distance of 22,025 miles. This image shows Pluto's true colors, including the heart of the dwarf planet, a Texas and Oklahoma-sized glacier made of nitrogen and methane. New Horizons is the first spacecraft to visit Pluto, orbiting at 3.7 billion miles. Pluto is slightly over 1,400 miles broad, almost half the breadth of the United States, or two-thirds the width of the Moon. Its surface is blanketed in ice consisting of water, methane, and nitrogen, with a rocky core and maybe a deep ocean. Another study shed light on Pluto's past. Pluto, like Earth, has been discovered to have flipped on its side early in history. Scientists are trying to figure out how much the poles shifted. However, it is depicted by the latitudes and longitudes of surface features. To get these conclusions, they thoroughly investigated Pluto's mass distribution. They also discovered surface realignments while studying Sputnik Planitia, a heart-shaped feature on Pluto's surface. In Pluto's current orientation, we're seeing signs of ancient landscapes that formed in places and ways we can't really explain, said Oliver White, a New Horizons co-investigator from the SETI Institutes in Mountain View, California. We believe they formed when Pluto was oriented differently early in its history. 
and were then moved to their current location by True Polar Wonder, White added. One unusual finding from the flyby was the presence of large swaths of jagged landforms. The structures discovered near the edge of the hemisphere are thought to be entirely made of methane ice. The team believes the bladed terrain is caused by Pluto's changing climate. The fact that they appear under specific conditions in specific locations tells us about how the surface responds to environmental changes. The discovery of these features simply adds to our understanding of the processes that shape Pluto and other icy planets in our solar system, as well as highlighting the complexity, dynamic nature and diversity of planetary surfaces like Pluto's. According to Ishan Mishra, a postdoctoral researcher and science team contributor at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. According to the findings, these bladed terrains could also be found in other parts of the dwarf planet. The New Horizons crew has been combing through the data to unravel riddles regarding Pluto and the more miniature worlds in our solar system. Therefore, New Horizons will continue to provide scientists with intriguing data to analyze. It is also anticipated to reveal insights into the worlds of Uranus and Neptune. Moreover, the team will choose the next prospective flyby target for New Horizons to investigate and survey the outer heliosphere. Space telescopes continue to provide us with breathtaking images of our solar system's planets. Speaking of Neptune, JWST has also offered the sharpest image of Neptune in 30 years, allowing us to view both the ice planet and its rings. According to scientists at NASA, they haven't seen anything like this since Voyager 2 became the first spacecraft to sail near Neptune in 1989. Neptune, the last planet in the solar system since Pluto is now classified as a dwarf planet, is 30 times further away from the Sun than Earth. As it turns out, it is the only planet in the solar system found using a mathematical calculation rather than actual observation. Since there is so much unknown about Neptune, JWST's photographs are all the more enjoyable. Neptune is commonly shown in blue in the artwork. This is due to visible light photos acquired by Hubble and Voyager 2. Now here's the thing, the blue hue in these photos is caused by the planet's methane-rich atmosphere absorbing red light. However, Webb's images were acquired with its near-infrared camera, NIR cam, and the planet appears significantly lighter in these images. The planet's brilliant streaks and patches are methane ice clouds that reflect sunlight before it's absorbed by methane gas. Neptune's rings are one of the most prominent elements in the photos. Although the renderings of Neptune do not include rings, these JWST images support previous conclusions. The first ring of Neptune was detected in 1968. Still, it wasn't until the Voyager 2 flyby that astronomers could establish the existence of several rings. Three decades later, JWST images clearly reveal the planet's rings and weak dust bands. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.